How's it going guys? Zera here and now we're continuing the full breakdown of the ghost combat in the Ghost of Tsushima. Firstly, if you want to see a summary section for the breakdown part, well, the video is already up. It is also down in the description below, so check it out first and lastly. I also have a full breakdown of this gameplay as well. But since I didn't cover absolutely everything, that video is more like a something like a brief breakdown. Either way, hopefully you will check them all out. So now in this video, I definitely needed to clarify that in my previous breakdown video, I was referencing the Assassin's Creed games. I fully understand that this game attack is square button, not R1. Sorry, I just had to clear things up first and uh, regarding my last video and uh, that few perhaps didn't quite fully understand. Well, either way, let's just begin. Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols Stealth is also an important tool for Jen, coming up against the same group of foes but this time with a different objective by destroying black powder cash. As well as we can see there is an option for a standoff, it's well actually confirmed that no matter what you wear or how you can take on the enemies, all the options are in your disposal. Basically you can be a ninja one moment and the next a samurai or vice versa too. It's also have been confirmed that the game will be quite challenging since when you can pretty much one hit kill enemies and so that means that they can do the same to you. Now there are more and different options. On the left you can throw a rock to distract enemies, half bow on the top and a long bow on the right. But when we go over the right side, here we can see a wind chime. So it's not a rock, but instead it looks something like this in Japan. Now obviously this makes noise and can be perfect distraction. Perhaps it was like a little bit modified uh, and uh, maybe also it was I have never seen before too. So right at the moment when a character throws it, we can see a little blast of wave around the impact from the landing, created for a great distraction. Or an interesting fact that the enemies can pick it up to inspect it, but if you have an Omamari charm equipped, specifically Charm of Toxic Demise, basically that anyone picks up the wind chime, it will release poison vapors and result killing your enemies quietly. On top we can see here a firecrackers, perfect to distract multiple of enemies. We will see a bit of a demonstration and the later down the gameplay. Lastly on the right, well, there's an interesting one, since we do not know what it is exactly. Well, by the simple design, I would have to guess that it's some kind of an explosive. Maybe it's like a sticky explosive that can stick to the enemies, like it has been done in this clip. Okay, here's the moment when we finally gotten a proper name of the yellow circles on the bottom left corner, including what the functionality it serves. They are called Resolved Meter. Since you can land hits and kills, it will increase, and you're capable of pulling through devastating and flashy attacks. And lastly, these points can be used to heal yourself, so somewhat similar approach from the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 game. As soon as Jin equipped a longbow, we can see that it has a heavy arrows as an option and perhaps on the top is maybe an explosive arrows. Also it seems that for every bow there are different arrows that you can have, but at the moment that is not exactly confirmed, so maybe you could use a heavy arrows on your other types of bows as well. Pay close attention in here. We can see this lantern being shined. We still do not exactly know what is the purpose of it, but I would say it may be an opportunity for a distraction when you can hit it with an arrow from the distance. An 
option to assassinate one enemy or multiple with a chain assassination. There was this very small moment of an option to slaughter the specific enemy. Perhaps he was too far to assassinate, or he was one of those special enemies. At this moment, we can also see Stance's availabilities. We are on the stone stance while playing as a ghost ninja. On the left we can see kunai, on the bottom smoke bombs, and the last two we have no idea of course as of yet. By a press of a button using smoke bombs to stun an enemy for an easy prey or to evade from the action. We also just seen this enemy survive a critical blow and finally being put down for good. As I mentioned he was most probably one of those special enemies. The player briefly equips kunai, the perfect small blades for quick assassinations at the distance. These kunais are not like a normal kunai since this character was capable of throwing three at once, in result killing off all the enemies in the vicinity. Enemies lose will to fight, well since you killed one of their toughest enemies and so many of them as well. A very nice addition since more you conquer as ghost, more enemies will lose the will to fight. Right here there is this shiny object that can be interacted, presumably to replenish your arrows and maybe some kind of different resources too. Grappling hooks are used to climb or go across the gaps. A nice addition but limited as you do not have this option to use it freely everywhere, but in just the designated places only. By the way, you can see here that you can actually pick up the arrows from the corpse to replenish for your own. Well, alright, next we shall bark into the journey of the adventure complete full breakdown of Gosa Tsushima. That's unless if you do not want me to do it. Well, actually, let's see. If we can hit 15 likes on this video, I will make sure to get it right at it as soon as possible. Well, either way, I wish to thank all of you for watching, liking and subscribing. And at that, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.